It is me, LaRue. <laughs> so, some big news happened yesterday, and yes, I, we are streaming this. I think this is the first time I've streamed on YouTube in like, I don't know when. So pardon me if I do something amateur. Um, oof, too bright. And yeah. So this would be a, normally something I would reserve a video for and make a make a whole YouTube video about a certain topic and do the research and everything. But this is a pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward thing that I wanted to talk about. So as a result, I didn't want to do a whole video. I, I felt I could just cover this in a stream, and I'm used to streaming on Twitch. But I decided, hey, why not try here? Uh, real quick, hi Salt Lord, Dozy Bear, Fenny, PK Gaming Alpha, Paolo Abreu, Hybrid Moments three three three. Hello. Yeah, this is probably like a super temp. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying it out. We'll see. Hold on, I'm gonna put Pascal down. Yeah, so if you can't, if you couldn't tell from the from the title, which I you know I think was pretty obvious, um, yeah, the Sho Shoji Meguro is no longer with Atlas in the sense that he's no longer a paid employee through their traditional means. Hey, Alex Proudfoot, um, go ahead and subscribe to Alex Proudfoot, good YouTuber. Um, he's no longer a paid a paid employee the same way he used to be. Phil, hi, hi Phil. He's he's instead he's going to be working as, as as freelance and the reason for that is that he's actually going to be working on his own game. I thought it was really interesting because you know, yeah. How is Fortnite Five? Oh, I can't tell you that. That's definitely not something I could tell you. But real quickly, let's let's just um let's let's get into it. I th I think it's you know, pretty straightforward. It's pretty straightforward. We'll do this right now. Of course, I didn't set this up um, in advance because that would require being smart. Um, yeah. So really quickly, the first thing that I that that's worth noting is here's the um, here's the Kodansha website or YouTube channel, um, and that's where Shoji Meguro, you know, Shoji Meguro is going to be working with them to develop his new game. Um, and here's his here's his statement. This with with English subs, so we're going to go through it together. And yeah, hopefully this will suffice. So really quickly, it's very surprising, but he actually left in September of this year. And it's like, bruh. <laughs> this is, so this is something that Alice has known about for a while. Um, because obviously, if he re if he resigned in September, I don't think that he left. He he gave notice in September, or maybe he did, but like not at the end. So after we watch this, I, I do want to look at what he's been working on. It's important to note that, in, uh, like, on top of him doing this, he's been working on this game by himself for five years so it's important to note that the project that he's working on up until now has largely been by himself but i believe now he has a team behind him so we'll see how that goes oh you guys can't hear it oops sorry <laughs> Yeah, so what, part of what he's talking about here is before, um, this is something that he's talked about before, like I think as, lit, or early, as like early as like 2005, 2004, he's mentioned with, he's told Atlas that he wanted to develop games. Um, that's part of why he was the director behind the remake, or remaster rather, of Persona 1 and Persona 2. So this, like, I guess he never really got fulfilled in that regard because after his uh, his directing jobs with uh, Persona One and Two, he nothing else happened. So, I mean, it makes sense that he would that that like desire wouldn't be satiated. Hi, Mira Limit. というかえっとわがままを株式会社アトラスが聞き入れてくれまして。
、えー、と今後も、えー、とアトラス様とも、えー、ゲームを開発して、えー、音楽も作っていくつもりです、えー、と皆様にはゲームの方も音楽の方もどうぞこれからもどうぞよろしくお願いいたします、yeah. えー、それから、so, I mean, um, like Fenny saying I don't get why people are sad over this news He said he will ha still have a good relationship with Atlas. Yeah, he did say that. I think people are upset because it changes the dynamic. There's a, there's a very big difference between working for a company and working with a company. And I think that in separating himself, that dynamic has changed. And what it means could be there's a lot of things. It could be a, like him losing creative control, it could be that he's not.、Um, He's not going to be actively in charge of things anymore. Maybe he's taking a back seat to the,、um, these OST projects. Because if you remember in like Persona 5, for instance, we already had some other people working on supplementary music for Persona 5. And then going into、um, Studio Zero's creation, he was supposed to be the lead of that department. That, that whole studio was like the sound department was supposed to be led by him. And overall, The way Atlas made it seem is that even though Shoji Meguro is part of Studio Zero, they made it seem like the hierarchy went him and then people like,、um, I don't know, like the, the SMT crew and like just kind of going lower from there. But now that he's not part of Atlas, that means that they have to like re e e s t a b l i s h what's going to happen. I mean, obviously, he's saying that he's still going to be working with them to make music.、Um, In November, I know there's some typos in this, but、um, they're a Japanese company, so I don't, so there's gonna be some English typos.、Uh, it's, just, it's just one of those things where there's a lot of like unsure things where we don't know how Alice is going to,、um, how Alice is gonna set up their art, our music department now that he's not there, and we don't know to what degree he's gonna be involved with Alice projects. For all we know, he's gonna finish、um, Project Fantasy and then move on completely. Or he might only do some guest spots, or he might only go to the performances. There's a lot of like, weird unknowns with this. から、えー、11月の6日にインディーライブエクスポにて私が開発しているゲームが発表されます。えー、こちらもどうぞ、えー、皆さんご期待ください。どうぞよろしくお願いいたします。Yeah. So, that was, that was his thing.、Um, That, I, I, luckily, they put everything in English. Like, they made, they made two separate videos. One is in English, one is in Japanese. And yeah, so here's what it says in the、uh, description. <coughs> Excuse me. Kodansha、um, Game Creators Lab will be su supporting the project. Further details will be announced on the Indie Live Expo Winter 2021, which is happening November 6th. So that's next Saturday.、Uh, Kodansha Game Creators Lab.、Um, Is an indie game developer、uh, supported organization known for the slogan, We will give you 10 million yen a year, so why don't you develop you, the game you want to? So, I, the idea or the premise beside, behind Kodansha is, is a lot of creative control to the developer rather than、um, a focus to make money, which can be very limiting if you're the creator of a game. Because then a lot of the ideas h a s to be shifted and with this idea of making money. So I think that when it comes down to this, it, this, might be a good, this might be a very good move for him.、Uh, under the pseudonym Mega Rock, Mr. Megaro had been using, making games using the Unreal Engine 4 all by himself for about five years. He applied for the GCL Round 1 recruitment last September and made it to the final interview. Although he was not selected,、uh, we supported him with 500,000 yen. As a special prize, so that's like $50,000, roughly $48,000, I would say.、Uh, after subsequent communication, we decided to assign Meguro a separate position from the first GCL members.、Um, the game we are working on at the moment will be presented. So, yeah, we don't know exactly what it is. We, all, we know a couple of things.、Um, first thing is that he tried to get like the big $10 million、uh, prize. Um, for our funding for his project, but he ended up with、um, 500,000. So 10 million yen is it's like $9 million, maybe a little under.、Um, I, I'm, converting, I'm converting off the top of my head, so I could be a little off.、Um, and this is the thing that they're talking about. So this is the Indie Live Expo.、Um, these are some of the other people that are involved. You might notice Chiaki, 
She's a like regular presenter for Mega Ten News. Um, I'm not too familiar with any of these other people, um, so unfortunately I can't really speak on who they are or what they do. And then we have Shoji Megaro's like official Twitter. If you don't, uh, the the thing that's super funny is that before he made this news, his Twitter account probably had like 800 followers, 600 followers, and now it has 7,000 <laughs> following his like departure uh, notice. Um, he 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 also published this, and he also published something for the PR Times, um, and it's not too different from what I just read. So, all this is basically saying exactly what we just read from the description: that he applied, he did, he decided to leave so he can focus, and um, he's going to maintain a relationship with Atlas. Um, yeah, a lot. We saw a lot of uh, goodbyes. <laughs> I was going to like go through and show you guys, but I can't really. So like here's some nice things from Lin, um, Kirichi Suchia. Um, I don't know who um, like I'm like I might be not like I might just not know. I don't know who Harada um, Shihoko Harada is. Um, and then we got Mr. Sukasa Masuko himself. Um, yeah, a lot of kind like positive like words. <laughs> this <laughs> so I. Uh, this is something that I found out yesterday, but I'm actually, <laughs> I actually can't see what this one said because this is from Lotus Juice and Lotus Juice blocked me on Twitter. So I, I don't know what it said, but I imagine it says something positive as well. Um, <laughs> story for another time. So I did want to use, use some of this to, uh, to kind of look at what he's been working on because his Twitter account has been rife with like, like little, little things here and there kind of showing that he's been working on something. So like here is, is like him developing some sort of character. He's using, he's using Blender, which I think is funny. Um, cause I know how I, I, I vaguely know how to Blender works. Um, based on what we're seeing here, it, it kind of looks like it's some sort of game that that's like, a, like regarding shooting. Cause here, here's something else. Some more footage. Why did Lotus Juice block me on Twitter? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, as far as I know, it's because I said publicly that I don't like Lotus Juice's music, and maybe he searched himself and blocked me because, <laughs> like, I didn't at him or anything. Um, but yeah, we're seeing like a lot of a lot of his like him like working on some project. Yeah, from what I'm seeing, I think it's gonna be 3D. This looks like what it is. Why would why would spiritual? There are so many reasons. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he was kind to Shoji Megaro. I just don't know what he said. I could probably look it up. Um, let's let's see. Yeah, this is being made on Unreal Four. Um. Yeah. Let me look, see if I... Okay, he said, big shout-out... Oh, let me try to sound like a lot of Jews. Big shout-out to Shoji Meguro, the composer of the Persona series. Started today, he's become independent and making an original game. Nothing but love for what he's done in P. As a fan and as a musician, I'm looking forward to his future work. That's that's Shoji... Or that's, um... That's uh, Lotus Jews. Like I said, I don't really know why he blocked me. Um, I did criticize one of his jokes because he made a really, like when when the whole capital riot thing was happening in um, when the whole capital riot was happening in America, he did make a weird joke about it, <laughs> like saying like you know like while while there's all this worry that people might die, he made some weird joke. I don't know what it is. It looks it looks like he's kind of messing with a bunch of different things, but overall it does look like it's gonna be some sort of th um, like third. Uh, 3D like shooter with RPG elements or something, but we're, we're I'm seeing a lot of like gun guns and running around. A cat, <laughs> but um yeah, so like we could look at this until till the till the day goes. Till the day ends, till night falls, whatever. 
but it looks like what it looks like it's a lot more um it's a lot more in depth well that's not his project that's just like like research material um based on everything see like here's here's this which looks super like a, just an rpg because and of course no no audio at all Yeah, um, so that's pretty much the bulk of the bulk of it. <laughs> yeah, this it's completely silent. Good, good music, good music choice there. So to me, it looks like it's just like a J. It looks like an RPG to me, um, but it looks pretty good. Like I really want to know what happens with this, so we will know next Saturday. I think it's kind of one of those things where it's not sad that he's leaving necessarily. It's more like, um, okay. That didn't lead anywhere. That's weird. It's more like it's 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 not really sad that he's he's leaving. It's more that the I the the not knowing, I guess, what's gonna happen to like Atlas with without him being such a major driving force is a little worrying. Um. I presume that he's still going to continue working on like all the projects that he's already um, been involved in, but it is kind of nice to see, like, like to me, the Kenichi Suchia and especially the Sukasa Masuko thing, like it's just it's just nice. Here, here's the translation. Oh wow, are you serious, my girl? I've never called it that way. <laughs> he's just like, wow, that's so cool. I think I think people are just more supportive that he's pursuing something he's interested in, um, and that's good. That I think that's kind of how fans should perceive it too. Like there shouldn't be a whole lot of like sad feelings. We don't know what it's what the game's gonna be, but I think it's interesting that he's dubbing himself Mega Rock. Um, I think I saw Persona Central say something about this actually. Let's look it up. Persona Central. Um, when I when I was <laughs> when I was I was like reacting to this as it unfolded last night. I was kind of like flipping out. Um, yeah, they, I think they, they're kind of like jumped the gun, the, oh, yeah. Megaro is going under the name Megarock. Not, I don't think the game's name is Megarock. So, uh, yeah. I think that's, that's pretty much all I had to, I had to say about it. I didn't want to make a whole video because I didn't think this was something that I could do. Like, I, like in terms of like a video, but I did want to just test out the, sh the whole streaming on, on YouTube. Um, if you guys liked me streaming on YouTube, let me know in the comments, and I will probably consider doing stuff like this in the future. Um, I I don't know. Just let me know. Otherwise, I, you can find me on Twitch. Definitely follow me on Twitter if you're so, if you're someone who wants to see like <laughs> see me tweet every day. I I basically am nonstop Mega Ten content. So um, yeah. Okay, who's this Darius guy? Silencio, por favor. Okay, anyway, that that's pretty much all. That's pretty. That's pretty much it for the.